Welcome to what will be my favorite episode, least favorite episode. This one is um, everything that's broken with the PTGT. a game called is it a good idea to buy a car off the internet without ever having seen it and this is my current list of things that i know are um, broken with the vehicle anyway let's go through these all right first up on the list we've got some rust yay uh, this one's actually i mean it doesn't look good but i've been wanting to do a little bit of body work learn that so not too bad one next up we've got um the sunroof that doesn't actually do anything, even if you have it started or nothing. You, you just hit the buttons and, um, well, nothing. While the AC will actually turn on, it, um, it doesn't actually do anything in regards to blowing cold air. Yeah. Uh, next issues are here, kind of in the back. We've got actually a really nasty rattle that's actually coming from right here. So we gotta fix that up at the, the bigger clunky clunky sender here. See that? That's called, uh, I don't know, Bell Watts Link, something, something like that. And every time you hit a bump, it was going clunk, 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 clunk. Anyway, I figured out what that one is. I just had to order a tool in order to actually take that apart. So the tool's coming. Power steering leak. Well, that actually comes to us courtesy of this nice little hose right there that I've temporarily put a clamp on. We've got this entire brand new fender liner that I've picked up and it's not really, um, it's not actually really attached. I just kind of mocked it in there because that just, that was missing. It was gone. There was nothing in there. These seats that are supposed to be heated, um, lots of times when you push the button, nothing happens. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Intermittent problems are the worst. You want like intermittent wipers, not intermittent heated seats, especially if it's supposed to be my winter cruiser, winter pterodactyl. And last little one's fairly easy, but a, a blown, blown speaker. That's, um, that's fine because I was planning to change the whole stereo, put in some subs, you know. But the big ones, the really big ones are these three guys right here. These three lights could mean any any number of things they could be connected they could be different a brake light means something in your brake system is wrong not all that helpful traction control light i i don't know some kind of sensor or something srs airbag like did they not install the airbag right is it just a sit like oh that stuff is hard for the average joe at home to diagnose and this is 2006 like newer vehicles have so many more computers so all the stuff on the left, I can figure out. I, I, I generally know other than air conditioning, you want to take that to like a real person. That may not be fun. But these ones on the right, oh, they could be bad. Or you could have a friend who has a special tool that hopefully will tell us exactly what the issue is so we know what to replace and not just replace everything and spend a crazy amount of money. If only one had a friend who could do all of those things. Ooh. Hey, I was just talking about you. Yo, yo. Only good things. Uh, I hope so. Do you know what? You drive a GT and I drive a GT. We're the same. We are twinsies, very much. Haircuts, everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, what are we going to call you? Uh, like every YouTube channel, like they have like the car guy. You're my car guy. Yeah. And you got to have a nickname. 
Do I? Yeah. Do you want to be Hustle? Hustle the Russell? Uh, no. No. no hustle Daddy? That works. Your daddy? Hustle Daddy. Yeah, we could, <laughs> we could try that. This is Russell. Russell sure. and I worked together 2006, 14 years ago. It's quite a while, yes. I started yes. working at Visions Electronics. Yes. Russell showed me the ropes graciously because I had yes. no idea what I was doing. That's true. And exactly. you know lots about cars and we both drive GTs. Anyway, what is we this? We are twinsies. So What's this? This is a, my latest toy, an Autel MX-808. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with it as much as I would like. Mm. So any excuse to, to dig it out of the case, uh, where's the awesome music? You, yeah, exactly. You yeah, there we go. Over, Here we go. Like you know, angel music? Uh, no, I'm thinking more like, uh, what's that show where the big black monolith comes up and the apes are jumping around it? Planet of the Apes. Mm, no. No. <laughs> 2001 is Space Oddity. Bum, 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 It's not the music, but you know what I'm saying, right? So I so. plug this in and all my problems go away. Yes. Mostly, or it tells well, me what my problems might be, well, hopefully. If you're hoping your problems will transfer to me, you might have another. <laughs> I just brought you over to fix it. I'm exactly. filming. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. filming. You got to fix. Yeah. Well, tell us. This fancy box will hopefully tell us our three big brake light. That's my other light. Traction light, and uh, I wrote these on the board. SRS airbag light, maybe it'll tell us what's wrong. This is like 20 bucks, right, for one of these? Give or take. Yeah, okay, On good. monthly payments <laughs> for about 20 years. <laughs> this is why you need car friends. This community! Yeah. It's because Russell, hey, he hasn't told you this, but his dream in life is to get a PT Cruiser. Yeah. That's all he wants. Trade in the Mustang, PT Cruiser. You're a real mind reader, Justin. <laughs> You're a real I mind skills. reader. I'm hoping someday... To drive uh, a car that has most of its dash lights on. That's, <laughs> that's a real dream. I like the extra tall gear shift. Does that allow for more movement? I wait till you see I'm gonna put the big drift handle too, yeah. you know, to pull on that. About here? Yeah, exactly. Skull lights up, red eyes. <laughs> it's a get trag. Five speed. Is that how you say it? How do you say it? Get trag. Get trag. Smooth it out. Get trag. G Tragon. No. No. Get trag. Get trag. Say it. Say it. Get trag. I know a lot about cars, you guys. <laughs> he laughs. Well, radio off. How's your battery? Good. New battery. New battery. Hey, that's one of the things. Charge. New tires and battery. That's yeah. how the car was advertised. Everything else is perfect. I want that. Well, that's some new fandangle technology. You like there. that? Hey, push yeah. the button, the light turns off. Yeah. All right. Scan all. PCM good. Yes. ABS fault. Yes. Airbag fault. Oh yeah, we knew that. Instrument cluster fault. Oh no boy. Uh, gateway fault. Radio good. <laughs> the radio's good. Uh, Yay! Radio good, yes. <laughs> Driver door module. There's a lot of faults coming up here, Russell. Well, just eight so far. Oh boy. So, occupant classification is no fault. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but it's good to know that it's no fault. So worst comes to worst, now obviously we won't do it today because you got no tires on, but you can also go for a drive and this will tell us what's happening with each sensor as we're driving. So Ooh, if fancy. You can't figure out. Okay, what if I just turn the wheels? No? No. 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 Implausible vehicle configuration data received. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a, that's a doozy, all right. So that's the first one. That concerns me. <laughs> I like that look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, no. On a Dodge, all the different modules talk to each other. Yeah. And all the modules should say, I'm from a 2006 PT Cruiser GT. Yeah. If implausible vehicle configuration data received could mean there's a module in there that is not meant oh, for an 06 Chrysler PT Cruiser GT. <laughs> Might just be something related to a module that works, sure. but is looking at the others going, eh, yeah, you're not the like one you. I came from the factory. With. Maybe that module is getting bullied by um, the other ones. They just decided they didn't like it. Awesome. So that's a total of 13 fault codes. Oh, perfect. That so just like a scanned. couple. <laughs> just a couple. So our strategy discussed was we clear the codes, we see what comes back, mm -hmm. and then we diagnose. Because lots of these are like lost communication. Who knows what yes. happened? Somebody unplugged something, somebody didn't unplug. It sounds didn't. like somebody unplugged something uh, perhaps while the vehicle was running or Ooh. while the ignition was turned on. Mm -hmm. And the computer, a Dodge computer especially, will just recognize okay. that as a major major problem so I'm going to erase everything and then all my problems go away oh I'm so excited mm -hmm. so the engine runs great 
The engine idles great. <laughs> let's, let's not jump with the horse before the cart. <laughs> if one is way higher or lower, it'll tell us that for some reason, this injector is doing more or less work than the mm -hmm. others, mm -hmm. which gives you, again, could be bad plugs, could be something sure. major, but so you want them all to be fairly close. Okay. They're going to dance around. They look fairly close. They're fairly close. There's not one that's like 1400 something and the rest yeah. are all 16. They're all within 10% and that's uh, that's a good thing. So auctions and sensors appear to be good. That can be another maintenance item is having right. to change your auctions and sensors. Russell, you've been here a while and I still have all my lights on. Yes. Your tool's broken. Yes. We'll definitely blame the tool. It's <laughs> definitely not the operator. Definitely not, not the owner or the vehicle. No. None of those things. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the fact that it's just a Dodge. This is why I only buy imports. Or domestics under warranty? I don't know. Their parts are cheap, but they're computer programmers. Most of the Dodge is right around in here or here is a tip them totally integrated power module Ooh. yes they are infamous on every dodge dodge truck chrysler jeep you name it they fail mm. they're a fuse box attached to a circuit board um, when they go you will have any one of a hundred random electrical problems. Excellent, so, Russell. So that's I'm never my, inviting you over again. Yes, no, I'm just <laughs> I am always the bearer of good news. <laughs> New uh, glimmer of hope. Thank you, Google. Yes. It could just be the dead battery ruin the module. Not ruin the module, but not ruin the module. But unfortunately, on a lot of dodges, when the battery goes flat dead or is simply disconnected, the module forgets that it belongs to this car and it needs to be reprogrammed to tell it that it's in this VIN numbered 06 PT Cruiser GT. Oh, thank you for GT. Yes. It's important. Yes. So maybe we can take it somewhere. We have to take it somewhere fancy to get it reflashed yes. and maybe my lights will go away because the other stuff we've checked, most other things seem reasonably good. Everything seems reasonably good. Started the engine, checked the stuff uh, on the live data. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, of course, a test drive would be nice, but uh, <laughs> somebody had to put it up on jack stands. So. Well, what if we took a test drive in a different GT? No idea what you're talking about. Yeah, well. It's got a GT badge! <laughs> Russell, I need your car knowledge wisdom. Sure. Would you buy a car off the internet, sight unseen off Facebook, that you'd never looked at? That I'd never looked at? Yes. Not in a thousand years. What if it was a PT Cruiser GT? Not in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of GT bros cruising in our GTs. Can I push the blue button? You can push the blue button, Justin. Oh boy. Is it NOS? It is NOS. Was it? It was. Oh man. Push the blue button.